You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today is a snowy and cold day so I thought I would bring you guys some homemaking motivation. We're going to do lots of cleaning in this video as well as a little simmer pot recipe that I wanted to share with you. We're going to clean out the fridge, do some laundry, you name it. It's in this video. I hope you all enjoy it. If you do give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here and let's go ahead and get started. And I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now. I know you guys love when Josie makes an appearance in my videos, but I did want to get my bed sheets clean. That is the first thing that I do. Anytime I start cleaning is pretty much throw a load of laundry in right away. And I needed to do some other deep cleaning up here. I wanted to take the fan out, which honestly it's not been necessary for the past several months. I've just left it in here. And then I needed to fill up the humidifier. If you guys live in a cold climate or a dry climate and you don't have a humidifier, I would really recommend one in the winter time. I sleep so much better when one is running. And then I needed to give all the windows and surfaces in this room a really good wipe down. There was cat hair and dust. And I hadn't really done this after I had taken down some of the Christmas decor. So there was just a big need to get a good deep clean in here. is going I can finally fold the towels and things from the other day I try and do a load of laundry every day and sometimes I end up leaving something in the dryer for too long I never leave things in the washer at least I really try not to just because you know once something's wet it can get stinky and gross so I try not to do that but I do like doing at least one load of laundry every day it just keeps things a little bit more manageable so if you have not thrown in a load of laundry yet today then this is your reminder to do so another side of you trying to break through able to tell the truth no one else can see you like i do all you ever do is say how far you wanna go baby i can tell it's just for sure Every line designed to let me know I'm just gonna clean out the fridge and wipe it down. This needed to be done so bad and I probably neglect this way more than I should. I feel like this is something I need to do at least like once every week, week and a half. And sometimes it just goes weeks without fully being cleaned out. And I mean, taking everything off the shelf, spraying down the shelves and wiping things down. Um, and I will say, it looks like we have a lot of food and I guess that's just because we eat all of our meals at home and we don't really go out very often so we keep lots of food leftovers and just like staple items in here and also because there's not a lot of pantry storage and this is the only fridge we have a ton of beverages but it takes us so long to go through like a 12 pack of beer and it's so much cheaper to buy things in bulk like jack and i were talking about this the other day that it's so much 
like economically more friendly for our bank accounts to buy stuff in bulk but then it's like where do we put it you know because there's just not a lot of storage so I'm sure you guys can relate but if you have larger families or even if you have a second refrigerator it just makes a big difference when you have the right appliances to be able to store everything and I am so looking forward to the day that we can have like a second refrigerator or even just a little bit more storage because cooking is like my love language and I always love cooking at home feels so good to have all that stuff back in the fridge. I'm just going to clean a few dishes. I didn't have a ton of stuff because most of the food I didn't have to toss or anything. I hate wasting things, but sometimes stuff gets shoved to the very far back of the fridge or like some of the cheese in the drawer had gone bad. But the next thing I'm going to do for you guys is show you how to do a simmer pot. And the reason that I did it on this day was because we had these leftover oranges and I didn't want to let them go to waste. Like I didn't just want to throw them away. So I thought I would cut them up and put them in the pot here so it's super simple you can look up there's tons of recipes on different kinds of simmer pots I found this one on Pinterest I thought the combination sounded completely perfect for a cold and snowy day so I'm just cutting up the orange slices and then I'm gonna fill up the pot with water you can kind of eyeball this but the idea is that you want the water to simmer so eventually it will fully evaporate so you may have to refill but I decided to put in with the um, orange slices some cinnamon sticks and then I also had this nutmeg essential oil and I wanted to put a few drops of it in there too. You can also use whole cloves. Um, you could do like spices and things like that. It really just depends. Um, rosemary, like if you have uh, bay leaves or rosemary um, stems or anything like that, really just kind of pick that combination of scents that you love. And then you're gonna turn the pot on high, bring it to a boil and then turn it down to let it simmer um, on kind of like a low, medium, low heat. And it will make your house smell so amazing. This was like exactly what I needed to get me through the rest of my cleaning in this video. Or something cliche like Baby, I only want you. It's true. And then he said, I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know my last load of laundry for the day is in the dryer and in the washing machine. So I'm gonna give my floors a quick mop. And especially during the winter time when we're coming in with boots, with snow and all kinds of stuff on them, I do like to clean my floors with some kind of mop at least once a week. I used to use a Swiffer sweeper with like those wet pads, but I feel like this spin mop does a way better job. If you have any recommendations for carpet cleaners, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you have one that you love because 
because I have been looking for one to clean all of the area rugs, rugs down here, and then upstairs is basically fully carpeted. So I feel like with having a cat and things like that, it's great to have a carpet cleaner. So I'm looking for any recommendations. If you guys have them, please leave them linked down below for me and I will check them out. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on? Now that everything is clean downstairs, the last thing I'm going to do is finish upstairs by putting the sheets back on the bed and doing a quick vacuum. I would love to start like a series on my channel where I deep clean like one room from top to bottom, um, like in each video just because I don't do deep cleans very often maybe I'll wait till the spring to do this but I don't deep clean very often and when I do it just feels so good and I can tell a difference in like the atmosphere in the house and I feel like I can like, breathe better and function better it's just you know that clean feeling just makes you feel so good but let me know if you guys would be interested in that for the springtime like a spring cleaning series where I do like a deep clean of each room I am gonna have a Valentine's Day like shop with me video out um, hopefully within the next week or so since Valentine's Day is coming up really soon I thought it'd be fun to do like um, some Target shopping and maybe go to like Home Goods or some other places and just see like what fun treats they have, decor and things like that. So if you are excited for that video, give this video a thumbs up too. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you lots of homemaking motivation and that it was relaxing and inspiring for you. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe. I would love to have you, especially if you are new here. Thank you so much for being here today. And I will see you guys again really soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. The party in the backyard dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes.